Don't, yo, don't even worry about it, bro. It's your boy Ty West, Pearl Talk Sports to go. Yeah, here we getting money. Y'all already know what type of time we on. Got a nice, nice interview for y'all today. I, you know, everybody been talking about, you know, you know the uh, elite of the elite coming out of where we come from, Far Rock America, home of the brave. I went, and, I went and did some research, man. I had to do an OG call. I had to go get. I'm like, damn, like it was a lot of dudes out there. Like, are we really missing somebody? And um, to be honest, I had to like. My boy, I had to go to I had to go to school just now. I had to go to like seventh grade, and even before that, I had to go touch touch base with my son Terrence Watkins, man, guy, score lord, <laughs> straight Viking. We talking about 1982 alumni, same year I was born, and you know I'm I'm you know I'm definitely gonna say that he was definitely amongst the elite at any level coming out of Rockaway. So you know I'm gonna let everybody touch that. Yo, 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 that nigga Lindsay said, what's up? <laughs> you heard? <laughs> Go ahead, guy, you on, you live. Mm-hmm. Set, set the record straight, man. I mean, you know, you know, uh, everybody, you know, we got, we got to start on you and you know, you got the shakes and the mobs and the shans. So basically you here to say that you in that elite class too. I'm saying you are. Fuck that. I'm saying you are. <laughs> That's where I first met you at. You know what I'm saying? This is where, you know, the original started. So, you know, the Mr. Weinstein basketball team. It started right here. <laughs> Nah, I could definitely dig where you coming from. I definitely dig all that. Point blank period. Yo, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like, you know, I could vouch for a lot of niggas. Like, a lot of niggas I don't know. Like I said, a lot of people don't know me. You know, I'm not trying to be here to act like, I, you know, I'm somebody that I'm not. But I could I could actually vouch for you and say, bro, everywhere I ever see, I, I, I don't recall a game, like, watching you personally that you didn't have 30 or better. Like, I'm, that's just... You know, <laughs> that's anywhere. Like, and you know, I done seen you at some places. So I, you know, I got to go with you on that one.
Nah, I don't know. You had that. You had that motherfucking from 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 twelve years old. You had that motherfucking scorer mentality, man. You just was like a walking a walking basket. You heard. <laughs> Nah, D DC was a problem back in the days, man. Oh nah nah you you know you know you know I was in um 183 with all y'all dudes look look geez I'ma tell you, I'ma 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 tell you about when when I put when I put you know dudes that was really into basketball knew who you was but remember remember when you got kicked out of 180 and they sent you to 198 I'ma say this and you could you could tell me I'm wrong when you went to 198 a lot of dudes don't know they grabbed you out of fucking gym class you remember the gym teachers. You, remember the gym teacher was like, yo, he, he was like, yo, Tyrese, where the fuck you get, yo, where your boy from, yo, he, remember they got you up in, they, they got you up in motherfucking uh, Catholic school, you remember that, 198, a lot of people don't know that though, gym class. That's a fact, that's a fact. Getting crazy. Tell tell them about them gym periods, G's. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yo, 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 look, I'ma tell I'ma i am I'ma give I'ma give motherfuckers a little a sneak peek at what those um them gym periods was me, you, Marky from Ashmere, white boy. You remember, look, look, remember my son Richmond. Remember the dude, dude from the 40s, McDice. Remember, we was, we was, we was, we was getting crazy in them gym periods. Mm hmm Look at wow, wow. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, nah, hell yeah.
I remember, I remember I got you to play in your first tournament in 198. What? Nah, Having my son pull up. Yo, niggas talk about you and yo, you scared to play. My son like, what? All right, yo, my nigga, we down. And my son came down there first game, caught a dunk. <laughs> yo, that's, that's a fact. And you caught this, and you stole the ball from me. <laughs> you stole the ball from me, too. Your little, your little with the and I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, yeah, you was kind of mad, y'all. Hold on, I'm going to let everybody know this. He was kind of mad, y'all. I made him fall probably like a day or two before that at gym. I hit him with, if anybody remember, I had the ill little hesitation, stutter step shit. I hit him with that. My son lost his foot and went down, man down, hand down, man down. Yeah, mama, there goes that man. <laughs> Word. I'll never forget that shit. Y'all had trapped me. Y'all trapped me at half court, and I picked up my dribble. Something they tell you never do. I picked up my dribble at half court, and I tried to throw this shit, and you jumped mad high, and tipped that shit, and caught the steal, and dunked that shit. I was like, oh. They like, look, you got that nigga to come down here and bust our ass. They was tight at me. <laughs> Nah, definitely. So, I'm going to give it up to my man, you know what I'm saying? That dude was hard to stop. Definitely. Strong as fuck going to that rack, right? Strong. Strong as fuck. And he was fast. Yeah, big buff. Yeah, yeah. Ar that, that's Orange Crush with Chuck, right? Uh huh. Poo, poo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John Connors was tough. I always tell anybody that. I'm a hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a go. I'm a go out on a limb. I'm glad you mentioned his voice. This your boy Ty West, Twirl Talk Sports. The go. We in here. We getting money unedited, uncensored, unscripted. I got my boy Terrence Watkins in here, aka God Hard Hitting Hamill. Yo, God, listen. That is the most fucking overrated dude that ever came out of rock. When he was our age, he was fucking trash. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, man. Nah, yo, yo, that, that shit used to really get me pissed off, though. They used to be like, oh, Orlando. First of all, the nigga knew how to do a couple tricks with the ball. The fucking ball was too heavy for him to shoot. He couldn't even fucking make a layup. He was fucking whack. He came to 198. We shut that shit down. Yeah. Right. You can't tell me you can't tell me you can stop that. And he had the he had the he had the he had the overhype by his by his father. His father was pumping him, which he's supposed to do. I you know, I can't take that away. He was he definitely had a good you know, he had his dad around, so you know, most of us didn't have that to like, you know, guide them in the right direction. But I just feel he was fucking overrated. They used to pump this kid up. They used to they used to pump this kid up like he was fucking the next Kyrie Irving or something. Man, I used to be like, man, this fucking... And I ain't gonna hold you. We played them. We was the red team in 198, and he was on the green team. Matter of fact, I think he was on, like... I think he was on, like, um... If, if anybody from Edgemere remember, he was on stretch team. Anybody remember my boy Keith? Yeah. It, man... Yo. Uh huh. Yeah. He get that. But as I look at it now, man, he was one of the most overhyped talents coming out of Far Rockaway ever. And I respect Orlando. I I I got love for Orlando and all that. I don't don't get that fucked up.
Like, I fuck with Boy. We went to school and all that. But, you know, calling the spade a spade, he was one of the most overhyped talents coming out. And um, I'm going to say this, right? Every time, you remember back, and we talking about like 95, 96, 97. You remember my mid range jump shot was assassin. Every time he got, every time I got the. Every, the, yeah, I'm a flat footed shoot. Every time I got the ball, I made it my business to shoot when we played them because I'm like, they hyping this Orlando nigga. I mean, he's not even like that. Like, I just, you know, shout out to Orlando, not trying to shit on him, but that's how I took it back then. Like, you know, as a 15 year old, like, what the fuck they hyping this nigga up, man? What the fuck he ever did? He did what? Well, he threw the ball around his back a couple times. Like, fuck out. He couldn't even make a layup. Like, that's just a piss me off.